Hello everybody and welcome to this live video that I'm doing to talk about nailing your niche. So although I've made a few notes to make sure that I keep on track, this is largely going to be sharing some kind of inner thoughts or inner insights that I have had recently about one's niche. And it's based on kind of re, I continually revisit my niche, how I describe the work that I do and who I do it with um, and make sure that it is still relevant and appropriate. So I always say that niche is a journey and not a destination because I know that mine, my messaging has changed about what I do and what niche I fit into over time. So on that note, it is a perfect time for me to segue into introducing myself. And if we haven't met before, my name is Megan Hudson and I'm a marketing and business coach. I specialize in working with coaches to help them find and define their niche so that they can get really, really crystal clear on their messaging, attract more clients and accelerate their marketing and sales. So if this sounds like you, then keep on watching. Um, if you're watching live, just uh, drop a hashtag live in the comments below. It's always nice to see who's on with me. And if you're watching on replay, if you're watching um, later at your own convenience, um, again, I'd really, really love to know who is watching and would um, enormously appreciate a hashtag replay in the comments. And if you have any questions, just again, pop them into the comment section. I will come back to them at the end of this live broadcast or alternatively, um, if you are watching on replay, I will get a notification and be able to respond to your questions. And I do really welcome questions because it means that um, you have thought about and digested what I've had to say. And before I forget, next week from Monday, that's the 26th of July, I'm running a five day free training on how to magnify and monetize your marketing. So when this video is over, I will drop a link if you want to sign up for the five days of free training. Um, I'll drop a link uh, in the intro to this video that'll take you through to the page where you can sign up to make sure that you get all of the training videos, the emails, um, and you know everything that will be going out during the course of next week. And I will also be coming on live um, at 5, uh, 5 p.m. South African time every afternoon again to answer any questions or address any challenges that you have brought up during the day so it's not happening on this page or in my facebook group um, but there i've opened a special pop-up facebook group for it that is called um, magnify and monetize your marketing um, and the link uh, that i'm going to post will take you to directly to that group so i do hope that you will join me it's um looking um, exciting already and I'm uh, enormously excited about the people who've really signed up and the challenges that they have told me that they are having. But let's get back to the topic at hand. So I've always said that your niche is a combination of who you are, your background, and this could be your personal and professional background, your areas of ex experience and expertise. Um, if you are a subject matter expert in a particular area, um, what you are particularly gifted at and um, who you get your best results from working with. And that might not be every single client that you've worked with. And perhaps now you're starting to see a bit of a pattern emerge about who you um, really resonate with, um, who your, you know, where you have your best results and where, you know, who your, your particular work really lands with. And finally, um, the other, you know, the final uh, construct is um, what you are passionate about. But I've realized um, last week when I was really, really <clears throat> mulling over the problem, or not problem, but mulling over the concept of niche, 
all of a sudden it struck me that actually your niche, which is your um, clear, um, concise message about the area that you um, really, really um, excel in and um, show up uh, enormously, um, you know, as, as a kind of phenomenon, and if you want to put it that way, that, that it needs to be linked to your higher purpose. So in other words, it needs to be linked to something bigger than you, and um, perhaps a legacy that you want to leave. And, uh, you know, Simon Sinek uh, talks about your big wh why, why you do what you do. And um, I know that that video has got one of the largest kind of followings on YouTube. And if you haven't watched it already, um, please do look up Simon Sinek and why his YouTube, I think it was a TED talk that he did. But definitely your niche needs to be directly linked to what uh, deep down inside you makes you tick and the kind of way that you want to leave the world a better place for having been in it. And what made me realize this was ever since I went into business for myself, the underlying thing that I was passionate about doing was to help my clients become more successful, get more business, um, you know, create um, sustainable and successful businesses and practices because that indirectly helps me impact on unemployment is in this country and even around the world because unemployment is something that I'm really passionate about particularly living in South Africa we have an enormously high unemployment rate and I just look at the um, you know youth who are and they graduate or you know they leave school and are unable to get jobs and I really my heart aches for them and I really really passionately want people to be able to find unemployment, uh, fi find employment, <laughs> sorry that's really an embarrassing Freudian slip of the tongue. <laughs> so what happens when my clients become more successful? There are a couple of things, okay. First, they'll be so busy with um, their coaching and training, consulting, whatever it is that they do, that all of a sudden they'll find they don't have time for their admin anymore and they'll start to calculate the cost of spending time on doing their own admin versus outsourcing it to a virtual assistant. I must, you know, I've been through the same process and, um, I, you know, it definitely um, it was a huge relief off my shoulders when I was, you know, got to the point where I was able to outsource. Now that means that that my clients are be a, are able to impact, they're able to create employment. It might be that if you're marketing averse, that you decide that you want to outsource some of your marketing or at least the time consuming social media posting, because I don't think you as the business owner are ever going to be able to get away from creating the original content because that contains your special personal voice and the way that you talk and you know the the, the common uh, phraseology that you use or another word for it is idiolect um, so you'll you'll always need to be creating your content but certainly you can outsource it to somebody to do all the distribution across the different um, social media channels again creating employment kind of you know sharing the joy sharing your success but even on a on a different level, um, you would in your private and personal life 
um, things would change because you might, um, you would have more discretionary income. So you might, for example, if you have children, be able to indulge their wishes to do certain kinds of extramural activities, maybe going to art classes, which means that the art teacher earns more because you are earning more and are more successful. So there are all sorts of kind of cascades or, you know, underlying layers of um, how, you know, when, when my clients become really successful, um, they in turn are able to create more employment. And that means that they are helping me fulfill my higher purpose. Sepiso, I hope I have pronounced your name correctly. Thank you so much for joining me. It's lovely to meet you. And you say you love helping people and you actually feel good when you make a difference in somebody's life. Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, you speak for all of us when you say that we all want to leave some kind of a legacy and make a difference in other people's lives. And I think coaching is a, a really um, uh, profound way of doing exactly that. Um, but the point that I wanted to make is when you link your niche to directly to your higher purpose. So you kind of need to relook um, and and not necessarily change what you are doing, but question: Is this linked to my higher purpose? Does this work help me fulfill my purpose in life? And to be so, it, it is helping other people and really making a difference in somebody's life. That is your higher purpose and what really, really excites you and makes you feel good about yourself. So again, is the work that you do, who you do it with, the way that you do it, is it directly linked to your legacy work or your higher purpose? So I really invite you to ponder on that question. As I said, this was just really sharing my own kind of stream of consciousness and my own thinking on the topic. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I hope it lands with you and I hope that um, you, you know, it gets you like really, really thinking. And I hope it just adds another level and layer to um, you know, when you are thinking about your niche, when you are thinking about your business and finding, um, you know, like finding your messaging so that you can clearly attract the kind of work that you want to do and the kind of clients that you want to work with. Um, but just make sure that it is linked back to your higher purpose because then you will get that personal fulfillment. Your work will be truly and deeply meaningful um, for you and you will um, be, uh, you know, as they say, um, when, when you do what you enjoy, it's not like um, going to work, but it's like having fun every single day. So start with your higher purpose and and look further down um, in terms of how you define your niche and just make sure that the two are linked or if they're not kind of tease out the message that you're sending out about your your niche and and see where there might be links to your higher purpose so I'm just going to go back to um, kind of revising um, my, you know, original um, standpoint on finding and defining your niche and the aspects that I believe um, it encompasses. So it's about who you are, what your personal and professional background is, because they make us who we are at the end of the day, um, what our experience is, our areas of expertise, subject matter expertise, and um, what we are gifted at, um, what uh, we, you know who when you work with them um, do we get the best results with and you will start to see a pattern developing over time of the kinds of clients that you just feel most comfortable with uh, versus other clients where you might feel that it's a little bit more it takes a little bit more effort um, and finally what you're passionate about so the, the, those are the areas that um, I 
originally kind of um, had as my bundle for clients to look at um, in terms of finding and defining their niche and clarifying their message so that they can attract the kind of business that they really want to do. But it definitely needs to be linked to your higher purpose, to your legacy work and that thing that is more about more than just you. So that's everything I had to say on the topic. Very nice short um, live today. Um, but before I go, please don't forget that next week I'm doing five days of free training on how to magnify and monetize your marketing. I have created a special pop-up group on Facebook for it called Magnify and Monetize Your Marketing. But I will post the link. Just give me two minutes and I will post the link if you want to sign up for the free training and join me next week. Um, I will post the link in the intro to this video. I look forward to seeing you there. Tapiso, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. I really appreciate your presence and your spending this time with me. And I hope to see you next week inside the group. It'll be a delight to have you there. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon and keep warm. Bye for now.